Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and today I have this extremely rare 1966 Triumph Competition Tiger 500. Um, this particular model is the Sherborne Green with the Alaskan White Racing Stripe and Gold Pinstripes. This is a rare original Survivor with 6,658 miles on it. Um, it was stored in uh, a good friend of mine's house since 1983. It's been in his living room. I pulled this bike out of his living room. Um, his son was killed in a motorcycle accident in 83, unfortunately, and the bike had been parked ever since. Um, him and his son also had the twin Triumph uh, T3 uh, 500 uh, street and trail bikes that, that he parked on the same year that had, my, they, they all had uh, within 500 miles of each other. So th this, this particular one, 6,658 miles, this is the famous Jack Pine model, a consistent winner in national enduro events, and it has the rare Sherborne Green with Alaskan White Racing Stripe tank and fender. Uh, I, I have this, um, I pit, pulled off the tri off of, uh, this is a, right out of the Triumph brochure for 1966, the T100C Triumph Competition Tiger. Uh, again, this is a multiple national enduro winning model. Uh, light, same powerful engine they, they use in the Daytona 500, uh, tuned a little bit differently for off-road use. Has high um, clearance because of the up pipe. The original exhaust on this bike is in outstanding condition. Um, there's, not a, there's not a ding anywhere on it. It's not rusted out. Again, this was in his living room for, for uh, the better part of uh, almost 40 years. Original paint um, and uh, original seat. The original seat doesn't have any, uh, has one little rip in it right here, unfortunately. But you can see it says Triumph on the back and you can see, you can see uh, on, the, on the tank, it says right here, um, it says a world record holder made in England. Uh, land, uh, land world motorcycle speed record holder made in England. So you can faintly see it on there. It was, uh, there must have been a decal on there or something, but uh, this, this, this same engine set the Land World speed record, won multiple national enduros. Uh, just a very flexible, excellent engine. Bikes all original. The, um, I also have a copy of the Triumph uh, Priceless from 1966 showing the uh, competition sports model had a NADA retail or a retail cost new of $1,095. If you bought one of those bikes for $1,095, you're in for a pleasant surprise because the NADA value on this bike is now $16,575. So in number one condition, rare, rare, rare to find an original one like this. I've never even seen one of these for sale. Um, they only made 500 of these 50 years ago. Most of them got ridden into the ground and raced into the ground. This one was owned by a, a wealthy, wealthy man who had several motorcycles and well, this one wasn't 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 ridden off road. You can see the original grips are perfectly uh, in perfect condition. The original levers aren't all bent up or anything. Uh, they're they're perfectly straight. Well, 6, the uh, six thousand street miles on it. The um, the uh, headlight. There's no bends to the headlight brackets. The original front forks and everything are in good condition. The frame rail. If you look at the frame rails, there's no dings. It has a skid plate on the bottom. There's no dings or are dense, uh, uh, it's not all bashed up like you'd expect an off-road bike to be. The foot pegs aren't bent. Um, it's just a, a well-preserved, original, 100% original condition Triumph. I believe the uh, tires are, are even the original tires uh, on the bike. And the shocks are original. Um, again, I've never seen one of these for sale. Very, very rare bike. I, I looked under completed listings, I checked online. I hadn't seen any sold recently because there weren't many out there. Uh, there's very few of these left uh, of the 500 they made. How many of them ended up in the United States and how many survived? This is probably one of, one of uh, only a few original survivors. So there's a low reserve on the bike, a fraction of what the number one condition is. Excellent, excellent candidate to either um, just get it running and uh, ride it like it is or if you wanted to do a full rest, frame off restoration on it, make it concourse quality, everything's there. Just need to uh, polish and plate and paint and everything. And uh, you know the, the engine right now is uh, uh, locked up. The bikes we didn't try any mystery oil in the cylinders or, or we didn't try to free it up. I don't believe in doing that. I think the engine should be dismantled and uh, have the cylinders honed and, and do it right. The uh, bike is speaks for itself. It's all there. It's all original. 
If you have any questions about the bike, give me a call um, at 860-454-7024. Um, the VIN number on the bike I have for here, I have here someone to see here is that. Uh, go around and show them some close-ups of the bike. The, uh, while I'm trying to find the VIN. Uh, the frame VIN number is T100C-H47673 and the engine is T100SC, which is, uh, I believe that stood for super competition, uh, something to do with competition, and it was H42953. The SC model, um, I guess, was more rare than the C model. Um, bike's all there. It's on display in the museum right now. Um, and uh, hopefully they go to a new home. Being sold only to raise, we need to raise about $400,000 to finish the museum building now. We just found out we need another fire marshal, so we need a, a four-story staircase that's not in there. It's gonna cost about 125,000, so we're a little farther away from our goal. Hopefully this will help us get a little closer. Um, what'd you say, Kenny? A little farther away than we thought. Go yeah, ahead. a little farther away than we thought, but we'll get there. So good luck bidding, God bless, and all funds are going to the Newman Motorcycle Museum. I'm gonna roll this back in, put it on display now. Take care.